Also topping the news at five, state police raid the home of Macomb County Prosecutor Eric Smith, spending hours inside and focusing on some very specific items on the exterior as well. So the big question everyone is asking tonight is what were they looking for? Yeah, state police will only say this was connected indeed to the investigation of the use of county forfeiture money. We bring in Rod Maloney, who is live with what Smith's had to say about it. Rod. Yeah, Devin, this is the house, Eric Smith's house. Uh, pool slide back here. About 8 o'clock this morning, the officers from the Special Investigative Unit came out with a subpoena, and they knocked on the door. They told the uh, prosecutor they were going to be coming and serving this search warrant. They gave the family enough time to pack uh, his wife and children up. They went to a neighbor's house, and then the children off to school. The prosecutor himself stayed in the house as investigators started pulling things out. Half a dozen Michigan State Police detectives and technicians came with aluminum ladders, drills, and cameras. They dismantled the security system in the home, cameras, and even the yards and yards of blue digital cable connected to a computer. MSP Lieutenant Darren Green saying of such deconstruction. All I can say is that obviously it's going to be tied to the investigation that is ongoing. So we know a security system has their attention. They're not saying specifically what else. But it's the second time in a month MSP investigators have started digging into the prosecutor's forfeiture fund. They seized records in Smith's Mount Clemens office wanting to know where the money went and whether it went to county and police related expenses or into his own pocket. At the time, he commented. I recognize that, you know, Th this doesn't look great. And welcomed the MSP's involvement. After the raid today, put out this statement, quote, my family and I complied with their request and cooperated fully, as I promised to do from the beginning of this process. I will continue to cooperate fully and supply the state police with any information they need to conclude their investigation, end quote. Macomb County Commissioner Leon Drolette is the guy who asked for the original forensic audit that brought the MSP in. Government officials, even those in law enforcement, are not above the law. It's, I find that to be a reassuring sign. I'd rather have no laws being broken, obviously. That'd be preferable. But if, if there is a law is being broken, and from what I've seen, there's evidence of that, uh, then we need a very serious investigation. Now, Drolet is talking about the fact that he had to go to a judge to get the checks from these four accounts released. He's been through all of them, and he says there are a lot of questions about what this money was spent on. We should also point out that in order to have this search warrant, there had to be secondary probable cause. In other words, they couldn't use the probable cause to get the search warrant at his office. They needed another one, go before another judge to be able to execute this one today. Clearly, a judge thought there was probable cause and signed off on the search warrant. Back to you. Now, Rod, you mentioned Commissioner Drolet first asking for help. How did the case, though, against the prosecutor get this far? Well, it's taken a while, Devin, but uh, he went to the treasurer. The treasurer complained to Smith about these funds. He wanted control over them because he claims he was supposed to. That ended up going before a judge. But then Mark Hackle, the county executive, wrote a letter not only to the attorney general's office, but to the FBI saying we need somebody to look into this. And so the MSP at the attorney general's behest took over the investigation. And I was told today that the FBI is watching very yeah. closely. Yeah. All right, Rod. Kim.